asteroid. Asteroids are rocks floating in space. <gasps> I've never seen an asteroid before. Asteroids come in all shapes and sizes, some as small as a hippo. Like me! But scientists think asteroids are just leftover pieces from when the solar system was first created. It's getting closer. When an asteroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it's called a meteor. A meteor gets even closer. It burns up, leaving a trail of bright light, which people call a shooting star. Oh, look, Gorby! There's one now. Oh wow! It's beautiful. If you see a shooting star, you should always make a wish. Okay. What did you wish for, Gorby? To see another one. Look, my wish came true. Now let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Dwarf planets. Some planets actually dwarf planets. Those are the eight planets in our solar system. Do you know their names, Chester? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And what about these? Hmm. They look like planets too. I've never seen them before. Those are called dwarf planets. They're just like the other planets in our solar system, in that they only orbit the sun and have a rounded shape. Look at those asteroids! This is the main difference between the other eight planets and the dwarf planets. The dwarf planets haven't cleared away the space debris around them. Debris is space objects like asteroids, ice, and rocks. Hey, that's Pluto. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet, and it's got debris around it. So, Pluto is a dwarf planet. Pluto is the largest dwarf planet. The others are Eris, Makemake, Haumea, and Ceres. So, Chester. Do you think you'll be able to learn their Pluto, Eris, Make Make, Haumea, and Ceres? <laughs> Names? <laughs> I'm a fast learner. Let's learn how to play. Get ready to read. Eclipse. Lunar eclipses involve the Earth, the Sun, and what is that? That's a lunar eclipse, Chester. I've read about eclipses. I'll get my telescope. You don't need one. You can usually see a lunar eclipse just by looking into the sky. What exactly is a lunar eclipse? The moon looks like it's shining, but it doesn't have any light of its own. It's light that's reflected from the sun. Can you see what's happening? The Earth is making a shadow. As the Earth orbits the sun, it sometimes gets in between the sun and the moon and blocks out the sunlight. That's called the lunar eclipse. I wish the other poles could see it. Don't worry, Chester. Lunar eclipses happen up to three times a year. Phew! That's good. Next time, I'll make sure we all sit together. Feeding time. Mmm. Asteroid. Asteroids are rock. Hmm. 
Mercury. Mercury. Ceres is the closest dwarf planet to Earth. Which planet is that? That's what's known as a dwarf planet, Gorby. It's called Ceres. Ceres is the smallest dwarf planet that we know of in our solar system. I thought there were only eight planets. Are there other dwarf planets too? Yes, and you probably know the name of the most famous one. Hmm. It's Pluto. Yes, Pluto's one of the dwarf planets. In between Jupiter and Mars, there's an asteroid belt. That's where you can find Ceres. Wow, so many asteroids! Because Ceres is a dwarf planet, it still has a lot of things in its path. It must be annoying to keep bashing into things all the time. Hey, watch out! Ceres is up there right now, a dwarf planet, bumping its way through space. Now let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Sound in space. What can you hear in outer space? Here on Earth, there's a lot of noise. Yeah, so many different sounds. But have you ever wondered what sounds there are out in space? It's stars exploding, asteroids crashing into each other. Bash, crash. Let's see and hear, shall we? Here we are in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Wait, where's all the noise? In space, we can't hear the sounds, Marco. How can that be? On Earth, sounds can travel by vibrating air. That's how noise is mostly made. Oh, I get it. There's no air in outer space, so. Without the air, sounds can't travel. Except you do hear. What, Marco? The sound of silence. Now let's test your memory. Find a matching pair. Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. Like that planet has a hula hoop around it. What makes Saturn special is that it's a gas planet with rings around. See them from Earth with a telescope. Wow, they're so bright and so big. Yep, three of the other planets in our solar system—Uranus, Jupiter, 